Welcome back. Of course, I had to do that because my co anchor was so feeling the Terminator vibe. I love, oh my god, uh, I love Terminator. You dare amaze me, your body amaze me, Terminator. Don't let me go. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know she did song. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I, I love man. every Ashake, song by Asha. Asha Ashake is Ashake. coming back to ah, back, man. Every, like. Everything he drops, I'm like, Asha Ke, ma pa mi nan tori olon. Like, he keeps going back to back to back mm. to back to back. And every song he drops is a banger. Any song he's either featured on or any song he... Oh, God. Oh. Big shout out to my Ooh. man, Ashake. Anyway. Ashake. And of course, I want to give a special shout out to, you know, our former co anchor you know, Stevie Nata, Stevie. who is definitely Ashake's manager at the moment. Oh, yes, I a serious. lot of people didn't know that. So, our former co anchor is currently Ashake's manager and he's killing it. And of course, I want to give him a warm congratulations on his house opening yesterday in less than six months when he started managing Ashake. He's a property owner somewhere on the island. Come on, man. How big is that? A round of applause for my man, ladies and gentlemen. And big shout out to man like Steven Ator. May God keep blessing your hustle. And of course, let's move on to the next story. American rapper and business mogul Kanye West has described Whiskey's essence as the best song in the history of music. He took to his Instagram account to endorse Whiskey's essence as the greatest song in the history of music. The endorsement is part of a series of streets that saw the 24 time Grammy winner roll out praise for some select songs featured in the post at Beyonce's Church Girl, which he describes as his favorite track of our latest album, Renaissance. Um, DJ Khaled's Got Date featuring Rick Ross, Lil Wayne, and yeah, Jay-Z. But scrap Rick Ross and Lil Wayne and just put Jay-Z because the song belongs to Jiga. And of course, <laughs> John Legend, which he describes as the second best rap record of 2022 behind fu um, Future's Wait, Wait For, for You. you. Well, um. He also posted Fortunate, um, his collaboration with the game, which he says deserves a special video as he and the game has never missed. And of course, this is a big win for um, a genius to say something about a Nigerian artist's music. Mm -hmm. I feel like it is a big win for the African continent. Mm -hmm. Can we just, can we just, you know, notice? Or can we actually notice that in the people, or rather the accolades he gave, Thames was in two of those songs, Wait For mm. You and Essence. Mm. Mm. See, Thames be doing... See, see, and Thames, see. Thames be doing a lot without doing a lot. She be doing a lot without doing a lot. Do you understand? You just brought it out because of my mouth. the song of Drake, the and Wait future. For You, the one with Drake and Future... She was a sample. She, she wasn't actually featured. They just featured a chorus. I will wait. I'm so funny enough, if you take that fine. out, I, I don't know to me though, if you take her, her part out or her verse or whatever, her contribution to the song, yeah. I feel like I feel like it won't so be So she her. didn't try. Didn't she didn't, she didn't call them that, oh, can I send the chorus? They didn't call her. There exactly. was nothing. Like they actually found Thames and just put her on the song. That's why she was not in the video. And Nigerians are like, ah, why did they put her there? Uh, yeah. they, but it was a sample. We told poor people that we sample their sound. You know what? It means to sample your sound. It's I would say two win. things though. First of all, I know, yeah, it is a big win for us being recognized by such a genius, a genius by Ye and everything. Like he's saying it's the best um, song in history of Ye and everything. But then again, I feel like maybe it was a little bit over-exaggerated. Mm. A little bit over-exaggerated. It's, it's, it's not the best. It's, 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 a, it's, yes, it's a really, yes, really it good could song. Be better, but I feel mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. I haven't heard... I thought about it. Mm -hmm. I thought about it. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of favorite songs. Mm -hmm. But Essence, right? It's mm -hmm. a big tune. It took over the world. Essence took literally took over the world. Yeah, Essence literally. was a song that in its first one month, the whole world was singing it. And it I had feel like so much nominations, BET, different awards. Like It's been giving so much recognition, broken charts, broken records. And I'm first like, to be on the um, countdown as well. I think Not just Apple, I think on the... Um, 
um, is it just Apple? It's not just Apple. I can't remember what chart it was on now mm -hmm. that it became number nine. I think Billboard, yes, Billboard. Bill, yeah, Billboard Top yes. 100. It was 100. Billboard Top 100. It became number nine. Do you know what that means to be on top 10? And you're not even. number 10. You're now number yeah. 9. Come on. Yo. Like, that's a big win. Sometimes when I hear... And it's the first African mm -hmm, mm -hmm. music to do that. Not, it's not even Nigerian. Not Nigerian. African. African music. And the funny thing is that when I hear some of the nominations that the song has been nominated for or the awards, I actually go back to the song and listen to... Ah, is it that... You did downgrade now. You never know what you have on no, your list. I actually go and listen to the song like... Ah, Sing a sense for me. At least you should know the lyrics. You don't need no other body. Mm -mm. Do I? Mm -mm. Only you feel hold my body. Uh. You don't need no other body, baby, baby. You know the rest Go of the song. Now. We don't have time now. No, we have we time. Like, we no, have, we have, time. Time we have other more. stories. We are singing small, small part of the lyrics. Maybe whiskey or times. Baby, baby. <laughs> Go on now, I've started for you. I'm shy. Go on now. Stop it. Yeah, Stop say, making me shy. Like it. <laughs> Just Stop it. You're I making like me shy. It. Boring, as we're saying, as we're saying. Mm. Like, honestly, honestly, honestly. And I love the recognition that it gave to not just African music, but Nigerian music, Afro beats. Like, it, we have gone, just, I don't know, yeah, we have been doing well previously, but if you notice in 2022, just this year, the amount of recognition we have gotten. Big shout out to Remo and Selena Gomez as well. I was going to come to that, but on oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Selena Gomez I am so is like proud. High School Musical, and she has like a huge fan base. Was it like the Selena Gomez? Initially, when I heard it, I was like, nah, nah. nah. This year, we're seeing collaborations like Madonna and Fireboy. We're seeing and then did you see Madonna? Speaking of Madonna, she actually came out at the Remo's show, and she went backstage to go and meet. And what is oh, happening? She's a, she's a great performer. And I'm like, this woman is 60 something years old. Yeah, she's telling she's a 22, legend. 23, 24 year old boy that you're a great performer. That is the future. Like, big shout out to people like Rema. <laughs> people, shout out to people like. Wait, you know, okay, okay. What, col what, col what collaboration shocked you the most this year? Um, Rema and Selena Gomez. Um, um, what's his Justin name? Bieber Justin Bieber and, and Omale. Mm -mm. Okay, oh, Justin Bieber and Omale. Um, Justin Bieber and Whiskey. Um, joking. It just, no, I think I even expected no, that one. I expected that one. Yeah. Um, which um, future Drake Thames or it has to be future Drake and Thames. It has to be that. It has to be it, that. It has to be that. because no, they're both. Was Selena B. Gomez though? I've never Gomez, seen that one Selena Gomez. She's a lady. Remo is a young fly boy. But she's still. a young girl as well. But you know the you know the disparity in a Drake. Drake is like thirty something. It's not even you, about the age. It's no, the. Yeah, it's I'm like, just telling you like. It's it's the it's the it's the it's the future. <laughs> My <laughs> so bro. I think that was, that was it for me. I, it was way for it you. wasn't just it wasn't just Drake. It wasn't just Drake and Thames. It was Drake Thames. And Maybe if we had seen it with the Yemi Aladio or Itiwa Savi, we wouldn't have been so shocked. But yeah. it was a Thames. I would have still been a bit shocked. Like, no, even if it was I wouldn't have because they had already created a fan base. They already mm -hmm. had people that knew them globally. Thames just started. Thames got all of this in like no, a no, first she has, she, she has been She has like been so in the she game. Got she got it in her first two, yeah, three yeah, years yeah, yeah, of yeah. being in the industry. Mm. Yemi Aladio and Itiwa Savi, they be and they go soon do 10 years this thing on, on stage. I, I'm so <laughs> Happy, I am so overwhelmed. That's when Jimmy Alade isn't over 10 years on stage. No, but imagine how it would sound. Drake Johnny Future and, and, and I will wait for you. Will, As Mama I Africa, I wait for you. You go tell me, say you go wait for me. You don't give me soup cook money. I go wait for no, you. you. Wait for you. Get him. <laughs> yeah, <Yeba. laughs> Okay, how about you? Okay, you, got, you got the Jimmy Alade. How about you? What's happening? My baby, my baby, I go wait for you. My baby, I go wait for you. Fine boy, no to come to. And if I wait, somebody, some go find, find me. me. <laughs> Anyways, you can join the conversation by calling in on 0909-84848, of course. And yes, we shout out to Belema for, you know, impersonating <laughs> these two individuals. And of course, let's move on to the next story. Nigerian singer, Buju, popularly known as... Um, Buju, okay, Benson, formerly known as Buju, has disclosed that the lady who leaked his nude video on social media has been locked up in jail. The music star made this known during a chart that 
that that person is in jail now yes now that's blackmail i did it to a woman you guys won't take it easy i got serious backlash of that news because it was a fabricated lie and it was all blackmail and it affected me seriously he said when a caller called in to find out if the lady was actually pregnant for him would you dismiss the report saying the lady only wants him to send that money via btc which is bitcoin guys <sighs> and um i'm glad that this is coming out you know when we spoke about the uh -huh. story we said there are three sides to the story uh -huh. my side your side and the truth and i'm glad that buju has come out and i don't think like if he didn't have enough evidence against the woman she, she wouldn't have been arrested uh -huh. even if she's out on bail which i don't uh -huh. know but if she's out on bail whatever it is the fact that she was arrested and he wasn't arrested do you understand i feel like it's even a criminal offense that we have is like myself and yourself for some weird reasons maybe you get my nudes because i know you can never see it so <laughs> for some weird reasons you get it mm -hmm. right and then you put it out there i feel like it is a criminal offense for you to do that do you understand what i mean like i'm that's why i'm saying that it's so weird that people actually do not pay attention to stuff like that where you're putting out somebody's nude. I remember when Tiwa Savage, um, everybody was calling for the head of the guy. Like, mm. where's the guy? Where's the guy? Where's the guy? Who posted it? Why did he yeah. post it? Why did he do that? She, so she, yeah, she got her home backlash, but majority of the people that supported Tiwa wanted the guy to be punished as well mm -hmm. for putting out the video because, <laughs> I don't know if you watched the video. Yeah. It seemed like she didn't know what was going on. It feel I like felt like she did. But it felt the like she was, was in the moment. Okay, the okay, moment. I feel yeah. yeah I feel like. Or it was something that was supposed to be between just both yeah, of them. Yeah, like him. so you didn't feel like it was something that it was recorded like without her knowledge. Yeah, or, yeah. so it felt like something that she knew, but she just allowed it because mm -hmm. she was in the moment. Oh, and she pretty trusted <coughs> it too. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me, I need this call to go actually. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so at the end of the day, <coughs> I just feel like. um I like the way he handled the situation. I've, I have I have a lot to say about the situation. All right, so talk about In it. As much as, yeah, like I said, there's her side, his side, and the truth. I still don't feel like the truth has come out because now this is just his side. Now, it could be that she was arrested because she put out the nude and mm. it's an offense. But it does not mean that her allegations were but false. But he also, he also denied the pregnancy. Now, that's the thing. Like I said, it's his side. I'm not supporting anybody. I'm just bringing out facts, okay? Now, let's separate facts from fictions. Now... It could be that it definitely she has to get punished because, and I don't blame. I'm 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 actually happy that she got arrested because if it were the other way round, mm. it would have been a huge. Mm. It would have been something Imagine big. And, out a exactly, they would have had his head. So let us reciprocate. We're in a new age. Let us but reciprocate. The same, exactly is. the same way that you would forcefully frame a man for rape when he did he when he didn't do it. And let's say when something happens, you come out and say, "Oh, you were joking," and you think, "Oh, for him getting punished, you as well, you're not going to get punished." It's the same way that okay, it should be reciprocated. Whatever you give, whatever you spit, you should be able to eat. Okay. Mm. Now I don't blame. I'm I'm okay for her being arrested because you sh you had no right to bring out t uh, his news. You could have come and given your claim, called him <coughs> out, and said, "Oh, um, he got me pregnant. He broke up with me. This is nobody would have arrested you. You didn't have to True. put out his news. There was no reason for that. Instead of putting out his news, you'd have gotten a scan or the test of the pregnancy or something and put it online to back up your claim. I felt like she should have done that. She should have okay." I'm pregnant for Buju. This is the scan. This is, or asking for a paternity test. It is very easy for him to deny the pre pregnancy or say he doesn't want anything because after all, he broke up with her and he blocked her. So it's very easy for him to. And I feel like Loki, Loki, some part of me feels like what he's doing is also damage control because he has to clear his name, obviously. I also feel like what he's doing is damage. That's why I said there's her side, his side, and the truth. I feel like we've heard her side, we've heard it, his side, but two wrongs don't make a right. And I feel like the truth hasn't come out yet. Right. And there's no smoke without fire. I, I totally yeah. agree with yeah. you. Well, at the end of the day, you know, we've seen this happen one too many times, mm -hmm. and then we're beginning to become unsure about certain allegations. And he said it, and it was like for the money. I felt like he should have posted, like he should have put a the receipt. Exactly that. This yeah. is this is this is that one day, shall that one day. But you know, we'll keep watching that space and we'll see what happens. Best believe. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's move on to the final story of the day because we're running out of time, and this one is on Monday Kuti, an Afrobeat artist and the grandson of music legend Fela, who has said that he does not think he lost the Grammy Award to veteran singer Angelique. 
key job. In an interview, he said, I don't see it as a loss for what ceremony is a person has to emerge the winner and it is not an easy task for the judges too. I know what many albums, I know um, many albums would have been submitted for the awards before the organizers finally picked the best five. Although Kijo won, and I congratulated her, I don't feel like it diminishes anybody nominated in that category. I did not see it as a loss, but as a form of recognition. The fact that my debut album was nominated is enough inspiration for me. Or more e for e for Honestly, uh, I love I love what he said. I, I, I like the way he mm -hmm. went about it. I like the energy. I like the fact that he knows that, look, it's his debut album. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody else... I don't think anyone has debut, debut, debut album. I don't think anyone has done it. From Nigeria, mm -hmm. has their debut album nominated for the Grammys. Have you seen anyone do it? No. Boy had dropped Whiskey, an album. Whiskey, uh, uh, debut. Whiskey. No, 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 no. It wasn't, it wasn't his debut. I don't know who. Like, I think, like, it's only my day. Mm -hmm. So that's even oh, an history made. And I feel like, uh, I like the energy that he's bringing towards it. And there's just something about the Afrobeat industry that makes them deeper than every mm -hmm. other person. I feel personally, yeah. I love the angle in which he came from. Because this is how it, this is how awards are. You have ten nominees. Then now it is being shortlisted to Do you like five. Competitions? Yeah, I love healthy competitions. I don't think I, I think like I run not away. toxic. If I know that they have to pick between me and you, I probably won't get involved. <laughs> no, I, I love healthy competitions. I don't like toxic competitions. Like for example, people that are in the same category as um, portable. When he was threatening mm. everybody, if it's not me, like I don't, I'm not about that. You feel me? And I've been. I'm wondering what our portable is feeling right now. <laughs> it's even cancelled from the award show. We not even attend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, that laughing is so impolite. It's so rude. No, Forgive my man. <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> Well, no, it's not. Twenty percent, but we let laugh because it was a lot of BS. Like exactly, like it. where yes. he was putting his energy for energy. Mm. Let's let's what's up. So I personally, personally, oh god, I love what he did. And the thing is that most people don't understand. They feel like once you've been nominated for a category and you don't win, it's like a big loss. Mm. You failed. You've lost that everything. You're hurt. But you should take it as a win for you to. Out of everybody, out of hundreds of people, you were nominated. It's like your your music is being recognized. It's and it's I I just love how he went about it. And even um Burner Boy as well, in as much as okay, maybe I didn't really I did like and at the same time I didn't like um Burner Boy's approach to it. I mean, yeah, he fought really hard for it, mm -hmm. but like when he didn't when he lost it the first time to Angelic Kijo, Boy, he was hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, he congratulated her, but he was hurt, he was depressed, he was he even mm -hmm. said in his song and everything, but he worked harder. It made him to work even more harder. Okay. Now I love Made Kuti, okay. The I love energy the, for me. I love and the energy. And his father has also been nominated several times and still hasn't gotten the award. So maybe it's a generational course. I, I don't know. I'm saying maybe. It's, it's not a generational course in Jesus' name. Uh-uh. But I'm I mean, big ups to Madi. Madi is Madi. Madi. Madi is a friend of the family. Madi has been on the show, so oh, I wouldn't wow. say yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say anything negative about Madi. But what I'm saying is that you know, it's just yeah, a generational. Yeah. You know, something that. But Fela big ups. His done. debut album was nominated. Like I was mm. so proud of him. I was in, and even in the headies as well. Angelique Kijo was. Um, given an award i can't remember what exactly it was for as well so i mean i love the friendship i love the friendly nature i love the healthy competition, competition. and mm. whatnot i just love it all righty so i know i said this this is the last story but we're mm. moving on to another story which is a nigerian musician two faced the year was called out for the release of his colleague panshag samani uh Golema is cracking her fingers <laughs> like bet she has a lot to say popularly known Lots. as ice Prince, the only cool singer was arrested in the early hours of friday september 2nd for allegedly abducting and assaulting a police officer in lagos it was arranged before the court by the lagos state police command on three counts bordering on assault obstruction and abduction of a policeman when the counts were read to him he pleaded not guilty taken to his instagram story to face the man that the release of ice Prince. he wrote has it become a crime to become young, uh, to be a young person in this country? Every protest and struggle is also for you to have better pay, equipment, and proper retirement benefit. Hashtag free ice springs. Okay. Okay, you Let go me first. Breathe. The way you're cracking like. Like I was so ready for this story. Why? Why? Okay, What's first wrong? of all, 
to whom much is given, much, much is, expected. is expected. I don't support what Two Face said. I will run another time, so you okay. need to. I don't. Be I don't respect yeah. what um um Two Face said because in as much as you are a celebrity, you're giving so much responsibility. You're giving so much. You have no right to disrespect. The Not force, or oh, exactly, especially when he's doing his job. It's not like you were innocent and he came and at you and everything, and then you attacked back. You had was it uh, was it um, a fake license or no license plate yeah, or no whatnot? Nice plate. Exactly, you had no license plate. He obviously, no matter how big of a star that you think you are, he obviously would do his job. You're not supposed to be driving with no license plates. So he's doing his job, and okay, you're trying to um, throw him into um, the water, you're attacking him, and then okay, you're being locked up. And then, so I see, I personally feel like, yes, come out for your star, speak up for your brother when you know your brother is innocent, but when your brother is it has or has done something that is not good, you don't go and support him for. I love Ice Prince, or you first exercise your brother, then you now talk about the exactly, fact that he should be released, exactly. Oh, he's been granted bail 500k. Are you telling me I, I feel like that's money didn't no, come? No, 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 no. Are you telling me that he hasn't come up? Is he, has he not been released? Okay, if, if you feel, if maybe if he could not afford it, or maybe it, it was not being paid, okay, then why you can you secretly go, go and pay. Why, why are you coming online to... Like, why should have, that should have been... He did something point. wrong, now, let him suffer get worried Because I now began to check, has Ice Prince been released? I didn't mm -hmm. find it anywhere. Where, exactly? Like, there's no blocks, I say, Ice Prince let out of prison, Ice mm -hmm, Prince, mm -hmm. you know, there's nobody talking about it. And I know that it was granted bill, I think, on Friday mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, where they said, okay, pay 500 k bring to show and stuff like that but maybe he hasn't been able to provide them and probably he's going especially the shortest and he pleaded not guilty so it could be that he didn't want to play yeah important because yeah. the shortest people that stand for you mm -hmm. i think can jack back to london tomorrow exactly. if i go and stand for ice cream if you arrest me exactly. do you get what i mean yeah. so at the end of the day i don't know what's going on with that case but i'm sure by tomorrow we'll have more details of that. the case yes. but yes yes sure this is where we draw the curtains today but thanks for watching as always join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time and remember you can catch up on our previous episodes including this very one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa lifestyle you can also watch tea time on outer tv and we're in london on ben television and star times channel 308 a big big thank you goes out to michael anchor bells boo and of course the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name is ife oshike let go